Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the second half of your no second half of your November from the uh, 16th to 30th. So um, this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take uh, and you could also apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of your month, and then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know and look out for apply this to your own unique situation keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started here, uh, Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. Over energy for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Expect, look out for, for uh, the second half of their November for Sag. Tell me about Sag here. Tell me about Sag. Five of Wands and a Ten of Cups. We have the Devil ooh, and the Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could be dealing with a Capricorn here. All right, you might have Capricorn in your chart and then the Hierophant in the Four of Cups. Seems like you might be in a toxic situation here. Now, this could be a relationship, okay? This could be, you know, with family members here. Um, you know, I feel like for some of you guys, it could be a situation that you live with your family and they feel like you're moving out, you're getting out, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? Um, you know, and I feel like you're beginning the healing process here. Okay, with the Hierophant and the Four of Cups. Because I feel like, you know, with the eight, uh, Four of Cups, you know, I feel like you're just looking for better. Yeah, I just feel like you don't want to stuck, it, it be stuck in a toxic situation anymore. I mean, it could be a situation that you're dealing with narcissistic parents or something like that, or narcissistic siblings, okay? This is another interesting I'm getting here because, I don't know, this might be, you know, something that has happened, but I feel like, you know, maybe threats were made against your life by a family member at some point, okay? So that might be, uh, that might resonate with one of you guys or it's significant to one of you guys, okay? Tell me about the Five of Wands here. Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it seems like you're releasing family members here. You're no longer wasting your time on this because you don't want to stifle yourself anymore. You know, I, I feel like you don't want to be stuck in a situation where, you know, uh, you're just not progressing in life because of this uh, situation that you're going through here, Sagittarius. The Devil, with the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, seems like you're charging to your, towards your freedom here, okay? Um, This is interesting because I, you know, I feel like what, you know, I feel like you've gone through a very, 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 very hard childhood all the way up until this point. And I feel like you're just looking for a better life for yourself. You're just looking to improve things for yourself here. And, you know, I just feel like you just, you just can't be in the situation anymore because, you know, you're experiencing a lack of change and a lack of growth, um, the Hierophant. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Four of Cups here, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like you're taking this opportunity for yourself. It might have been slow to happen, uh, but yeah, you're finding your happiness. You're finding your joy. You're finding your bliss here, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, what else do we have here for Sagittarius? Outcome and advice here for Sagittarius regarding their situation. For the second half of their November from the 16th to the 30th, what else does Sagittarius need to know and look out for here for Sagittarius? Tell me more about Sag. 
Okay, we have Judgment's card, Sagittarius Energy, and the Five of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. We have the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles. Whatever this is, I feel like, you know, you're going through a major spiritual awakening. You're healing from insecurities here. You know, you're healing from abandonment issues. You're healing from abuse. Uh, some of you guys could be clearing out karma here too. It could be uh, 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 ancestral and generational that you're clearing out, that you're looking to heal right now, uh, or that you're working on healing. We have the Fool and the Ace of Wands, Aries energy. And then we have the Emperor here, Aries energy and the Page of Pentacles. Sagittarius, things are really looking up for you because I feel like, you know, through this process, you're really leveling up. You're really transcending here, okay? You're finding your freedom here. You're, 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 you're basically charging towards your freedom. You're breaking free from this toxic energy that, that you've been stuck in here, okay? Uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Emperor, Aries, Energy, the Fool, uh, Aries, Energy, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. You know, for some of you guys, you know, I feel like this is giving you the ability to actually find some type of work, some sort, some type of steady work too, because I feel like someone here has always struggled looking for work or finding work here also, or just keeping a steady job. Okay, Judgment, the World, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that keeps you from leaving. This could be like a toxic parent. This could be a toxic sibling or something like that. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's unable to stand on their own two feet. This person is not financially stable. And maybe this person relies on you for finances. Maybe that there's a reason why that you might have struggled with this. The world, the queen of cups. Yeah, you're definitely leaving someone behind. Like I said, this could be a family situation or it could be someone romantic. Tell me about the fool here. We have the Death card, Scorpio Energy, the Ace of Wands, and Temperance. Look at you, Sag. You're healing here. You're going through a major, major, major transformation here. This is beautiful. The, this freedom that you're, uh, you're experiencing is you're, you, it's giving you that transformative experience that you're, you've been looking for and yearning for here. The Emperor, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. As you leave, as you glow up here, Sagittarius, I feel like all these people are going to try and look for you and bug you here. But, you know, I feel like this is a tower that you no longer want to revisit or this is a tower that you no longer want to rebuild because um, these people are just not in your vibration, in your wavelength, in your consciousness here. And they just feel, feel like you're pulling away, pulling further and further and further away from these individuals where you're coming to the point if they do come towards you or that if they do bother you, you're unbothered by it, okay? So Sagittarius, looking good here. So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.